Hello, my name is Daniel Hedev, and I'm the Academic Chair of Engineering Technology at NBCC. Today, we're going to go through a presentation that will review the building and civil engineering technology programs that we offer at NBCC. I'm going to start a PowerPoint presentation here. So when we look at the engineering technology program offerings that we have at NBCC, um, three of the areas that we offer programs are, um, are the building engineering technology, uh, civil engineering technology, and civil technician program areas. Uh, these programs are offered at the uh, Moncton and Fredericton campus, depending on which program option you choose to take. So as we go through the presentation, we'll go over which options are offered at which campus um, as we move along. Before we get into the details of the programs, I do want to talk about program duration. So the technologist level programs are two year programs and the civil technician program is just the one year. When we look at MBCC's academic year model that we currently use, there's three terms. So the fall term starts in September and ends in December. It's roughly a 14 to 15 week term. The second term, the winter term, starts in January and ends in mid-April. And it's also a 14 to 15 week term. And finally, we have a shorter spring term, uh, which starts in mid-April and ends in June, and it's roughly about seven to eight weeks. So when you look at the, the programs that you'll be taking, uh, the two-year program would actually mean six total terms of study. Uh, and if you're taking the one-year civil technician program, you would have three total terms of study. We're now dive into uh, the different uh, options that we offer in this program area, starting with civil engineering technology. So under civil engineering technology, we have one option, which is the highway municipal option, and it's offered at our Moncton campus. Under building engineering technology, we have four different offerings, starting with architectural, which is offered at the Moncton campus, building systems, which is our only offering at the Fredericton campus, construction management offered at the Moncton campus, and structural also offered at the Moncton campus. For our civil technician program, this is our one-year program, it is also offered at the Moncton campus. Something that's important to note for the civil technician program is that it's actually a January start. So all of our two-year technologist level programs start in uh, September, whereas the one-year civil technician program is a January start program. One thing that's uh, very important to know is that there's the possibility of transferring between different options. Many people that are looking at applying for programs under this area are often uh, challenged with, you know, which option should I pick? Should I take architectural? Should I take building systems? Maybe I really like the highway municipal. And it can be a very daunting choice to make. So as you progress through the application process, you will be asked to pick a particular program area. But once you start studying with us at NBCC, it is possible to transfer between options as long as a spot is available in the option which you, want, you wish to transfer to. So there's a couple of things to know about the whole transfer process. Number one, the civil and building engineering technology programs have many common, program, uh, many common courses. In fact, the first two terms are completely the same. So no matter which option you're taking, be it civil or building engineering technology, your first two terms are completely identical. Only in the third term do the civil engineering students uh, deviate in terms of the courses they're taking uh, when you compare with the building engineering technology student. So the timing of your transfer request is very important. Um, if you're just staying within the building engineering technology area, um, you could transfer any time in the first year, including in the third term. But if you're transferring between building and civil engineering technology, then that transfer would have to be completed before the start of the spring term uh, to make sure that you don't fall behind. So that's why the, the timing of the transfers are important. And I would recommend that you have a discussion with your academic chair before moving forward with a uh, transfer application, just to make sure that everything is, is in order. Program accreditation. Our MBCC engineering technology programs have been accredited through the Canadian Technical Accreditation Board, or what we call CTAB, for many years. Over the past few years, there's been a transition uh, from an accreditation perspective over to a new accreditation board, which is known as the Technology Accredit known as Technology Accreditation Canada, or what we call TAC. So we're in the process of transferring our CTAB accreditations 
over to the new accreditation board, TAC. What does that mean for you as an applicant? What it means is that our programs are being reviewed by accreditation boards, which speaks to the quality of the program that we offer and the academic rigor meeting the industry standards um, that are required for our graduates. Now we're going to get into a little bit more detail in terms of what is actually covered uh, within each program area, starting with the civil engineering technology highway and municipal option. Again, this program is offered at the Moncton campus and its purpose is to train students to assist in the design of highways, transportation systems, as well as municipal systems. But what does that mean in terms of what you're actually, what are you actually going to study? So here's a nice list of the uh, courses that you'll be taking um, if you choose the highway municipal option, starting with road and highway design, traffic engineering, computer aided design and drafting, asphalt technology and pavement design, survey field skills, survey engineering, urban services design, communications, mathematics, safety ethics and quality assurance. There's a senior technical project as all of our two-year programs have. There's materials technology, soil mechanics, geotechnical design, water and wastewater treatment, fluid mechanics, environmental planning, contract law and scheduling, and a survey camp. Moving on to our building engineering technology offerings, uh, starting with architectural. Um, the architectural option is offered at the Moncton campus, and its purpose is to train students to participate in the development of architectural designs, analysis of building codes, application of bylaws, and utilization of space and site requirements. What will you study in architectural? Building renovation and restoration, green building technology, architectural design from a residential and commercial perspective, the National Building Code, computer-aided design and drafting, structural steel design, structural timber design, reinforced concrete design, estimating and quantity surveying, law and contracts, communications, mathematics, project management, safety, there's a senior technical project, and also some surveying field work. The next option that we offer for building engineering technology is building systems. And this is our only offering at the Fredericton campus. And the purpose of this option is to train students to assist in the design, management, and field supervision of projects relating to electrical and mechanical building systems. Will you study computer-aided design and drafting, otherwise known as CAD, uh, thermodynamics, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems or HVAC systems, plumbing systems, piping and fire control systems, building electrical systems, energy management, supervision, safety, contract and project management, communications, mathematics, science, and a senior technical project. The next option that we offer under building engineering technology is construction management. It's offered at the Moncton campus, and its goal is to train students to assist in planning, organizing, directing, controlling, and evaluating construction projects from start to finish according to schedule, specifications, and of course, budget. You'll study construction site supervision, construction project management, construction equipment, building renovations, restorations, and sustainability, planning and scheduling, structures, computer-aided design and drafting, estimating or quantity surveying, building systems, principles of building construction, soils, communications, mathematics, safety, senior technical project, and field surveying. The final offering for building engineering technology is the structural option. And the structural option is offered at the Moncton campus. And its goal is to train students to use the principles and applications of structural design and construction of building systems and to perform site inspections and requisite testing. What will you study in structural? You'll study soil mechanics, computer-aided design and drafting, reinforced concrete design, structural steel design, reinforced concrete design, quantity surveying or estimating, law and contracts, geotechnical design, communications, mathematics, project management, safety. There's an applied research project and also field surveying. Just to note that all of our civil and building engineering technology two-year programs have a two-week work practicum. So what that means is 
that you will have a two week work integrated learning experience within the industry that is integrated as part of your learning here at NBCC. And that is done in the second year of the program. Now we're going to talk about the one year civil technician program. So the civil technician program is offered at the Moncton campus and its goal is to train students uh, to assist with building roads, bridges and other construction related projects. They're the main source of technical support for professional engineers, technologists, scientists and project managers. In civil technician, you'll study computer aided design and drafting, asphalt technology, concrete technology, survey field skills, survey engineering, communications, mathematics, safety, materials technology, and soil mechanics. So for all of our engineering technology programs, either the two-year or one-year programs, they all require a laptop. So the, the next little bit of the presentation is going to focus on some general information that relates to all of our programs, starting with laptops. So it's important for you to bring your own laptop if you choose to be a student in our program and uh, the specifications will be, will be provided to you but it, we just wanted to let you know ahead of time that it will be required for you to bring a laptop for your studies in terms of admissions um, there's different admission requirements for the two-year program uh, and the one-year civil technician program so starting with the two-year technologist level programs the admission requirements are what we call profile i and the requirements here is that you have a high school diploma or adult high school diploma or a GED diploma of high school equivalency. From a mathematics perspective, a very important skill to have for engineering related programs, you'll re be required to have either pre-calculus 110 or geometry and applications in mathematics 112 and functions and relations 112. From a science perspective, you're expected to have two science courses and one of those two science courses courses must be either biology, chemistry, or physics. Now, any of the three will do. However, it is important to note that we do recommend physics for our building and civil engineering technology program. But if you haven't taken physics before, that's okay. We do start with an introductory physics course. But if you're still in high school and still making choices about which programs or which courses that you'll be uh, taking in high school, then you should consider taking a physics course if that's something that's a possibility for you. For the one year civil technician program, the admission profile is profile B. So you need a high school diploma or, or adult high school diploma or GED diploma of high school equivalency or essential skills achievement pathway post secondary entry high school diploma. From a math perspective, uh, you're asked to have foundations of mathematics 110 or geometry and applications 112 and functions and relations 112. So these would be the courses that you would be expected to have. Uh, in order to be able to take our program. There's also a, another pathway uh, to be admitted into our programs, and that's the mature student application process. And that's something that you should um, have a look or have a discussion with our recruitment advisor if that's the path that you wish to explore. When you're choosing which programs to take, um, obviously the employment prospects is something that you're going to consider. So rest assured that under the area of building civil engineering technology um, that technologists and technicians are in very high demand. At NBCC, our graduates find related, field, uh, find related work in their field of study for over 90% of our graduates. Um, so rest assured that there's a lot of great employment prospects for you upon graduation from any, frankly, of our engineering technology programs that we offer at NBCC. Just to give you an example of some of the employers um, that will hire our graduates, and again, these are just some examples, there's many more, but the New Brunswick uh, Department of Transportation and Infrastructure, NBDTI, all of the municipalities uh, hire from our programs, wide variety of construction companies, as you can imagine, contractors, engineering consulting firms, and so many more, materials testing. There, there's lots of different areas of employment that are available to graduates from our programs. One of the strengths of our engineering technology programs is that there are a lot of great career opportunities for our graduates. So why is it a great choice to choose a career in engineering technology? Well, I just stated that there's a very high demand for engineering technologists. But beyond that, 
Uh, what is nice is that uh, if you graduate from the two-year technologist level program, you'll be eligible for professional certification under the New Brunswick Society of Certified Engineering Technologists and Technicians, or what we call NBSET. So what that means is you can become a professional technologist upon graduation after you've met the experience uh, requirements of NBSET. So you go into industry, you gain relevant industry experience coupled with your diploma from NBCC, and you can qualify for certification with NBSET and achieve the uh, professional technician certification. Why do I think that NBCC is a great choice? This is a really, really important point that we want to make. Number one, the faculty that we have at NBCC is highly qualified and has relevant industry experience. The majority of our instructors have worked in industry for over 10 years and then become instructors with NBCC. They bring all of that industry experience to the classroom, which is really, really valuable to all of our students. Secondly, um, our curriculum has been reviewed by accreditation boards. So that means that our curriculum is held at a very, very high standard and is reviewed frequently by the, the uh, accreditation board. So rest assured that the curriculum that you'll be studying while you're here is really what industry is looking for. Finally, I want to talk about the MBCC advantage, which is hands-on learning. All of our engineering technology programs have a lot of hands-on learning, and that is so important for our employers that come looking for our graduates because they know that upon graduation, when they hire you, that you will be ready to hit the, the ground running. And that is certainly a great advantage to have as a graduate. A couple of last things that I want to discuss. Number one is if you have questions, by all means, please feel free to book a meeting with an NBCC recruitment advisor. You can do so by sending an email to collegeworks at nbcc.ca, and they'll be able to answer uh, questions related to your, the application. Uh, if you want to have uh, a discussion with faculty or academic chairs about specific program questions, they can help you with that as well. So feel free to reach out to our recruitment advisors for any questions that you may have. And finally, if you're looking to apply, how do you do that? You can simply visit our website, www.mbcc.ca, and all you need to do is click on the I'm ready to apply tab, and it will take you directly to our online application process. With that, I'd like to say thank you for your attention, and by all means, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to our recruitment advisors. Thank you for your attention.